Reviving Ophelia, Saving the Selves of Adolescent Girls, by Mary Piffer is a compelling exploration of the challenges faced by young girls as they navigate the treacherous waters of adolescence. Piffer delves deep into the societal, cultural, and psychological factors that contribute to the erosion of girls' self-esteem during this critical phase of development. Through a blend of case studies, personal anecdotes, and psychological insights, Piffer paints a vivid picture of the struggles and vulnerabilities experienced by adolescent girls. Central to Piffer's analysis is the concept of the Ophelia archetype, which draws a parallel between the tragic Shakespearean character Ophelia and the experiences of contemporary adolescent girls. Piffer suggests that, like Ophelia, Many girls lose their sense of self and agency as they attempt to meet unrealistic societal expectations. The pressures to conform to narrow beauty standards, to prioritize the needs and desires of others, and to suppress their own voices and desires leave girls feeling disconnected from their authentic selves. Piffer's use of case studies brings a humanizing dimension to her analysis, as she presents the stories of real girls struggling with issues such as eating disorders, self-harm, and depression. These narratives illustrate the pervasive influence of media, peer pressure, and family dynamics on girls' self-perception. Piffer argues that the media's portrayal of women as objects of beauty rather than agents of power contributes to girls' distorted self-image. The pressure to conform to such images leads to a cycle of self-loathing and a perpetual sense of inadequacy. Moreover, Piffer emphasizes the importance of understanding the family dynamics that shape girls' self-esteem. She discusses the impact of absent or emotionally distant parents on girls' sense of self-worth. The lack of strong role models and meaningful connections can lead to a desperate search for validation in unhealthy relationships. Piffer suggests that parents, educators, and society at large must acknowledge their role in either bolstering or undermining girls' self-esteem. Piffer's work also underscores the significance of friendships and peer relationships during adolescence. She portrays these relationships as both sources of support and potential pitfalls. While friendships can provide solace and a sense of belonging, they can also perpetuate harmful behaviors and beliefs. Piffer warns against the dangers of relational aggression, a form of bullying prevalent among girls that involves manipulation and emotional harm. These toxic dynamics can contribute to the erosion of self-esteem and exacerbate the struggles faced by adolescent girls. One of the strengths of Piffer's analysis is her recognition of the potential for healing and empowerment. She advocates for the creation of safe spaces where girls can express themselves without fear of judgment. These spaces, whether in therapy, support groups, or within their families, can enable girls to reclaim their voices and develop a healthier sense of self. Piffer also highlights the importance of adults actively listening to girls, validating their experiences, and guiding them toward resilience. In conclusion, Reviving Ophelia, Saving the Selves of Adolescent Girls, is a powerful literary analysis that uncovers the multifaceted challenges faced by young girls as they journey through adolescence. Through insightful case studies, Piffer illuminates the damaging impact of societal pressures, media influence, family dynamics, and peer relationships on girls' self-esteem. However, the book also offers hope by suggesting strategies for healing, empowerment, and fostering resilience. By shedding light on these issues, Piffer's work serves as a call to action for parents, educators, and society to actively engage in the well-being of adolescent girls and help them reclaim their authentic selves.